I really have no idea how to intro this. Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video is going to be my review of the latest episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 66, Final Battle, The Devil Empire. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this episode was bizarre. As like, now don't get me wrong, in this episode we got a lot of explanation behind the Luke men, which was great because he's been kind of an enigma this whole time, but this episode was just really weird. There's no other way I can say it. Uh, yeah, this episode, <laughs> we see the final duel, or the rush duel, between Yuga and the Luke men. And it's, it's funny because we see Yuo and he's acting all confident because they have fusion and there's no way Yuga can win and blah 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 blah. And finally the Luke man shuts him up. Thank you for doing us all a favor. However, these two end up beginning the rush duel and Yuga is acting weird. What's even weirder is we see the Luke man's perfect form before he takes to this duel, which actually looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. And we see Yuga, he, and like I said, he's been acting weird. Uh, he calls all of his cards evil. He's He calls his cards devil. He's And he's got this weird look on his face. Uh, it's just really weird. It's like his personality did a 180, like right at the very beginning of this episode, because he started out as the confident Yuga that we all know, and now he's this. Uh, and then we see... As the duel is going on, we see the Goha President siblings make their arrival, and they've figured it out, along with Mimi and Neil. Basically, the Luke man has come from this manga that Rook had drawn when he was a little boy because he was an introvert. Uh, Tiger tried to humiliate him and ended up turning this manga into an electronic being um, based off of technology and a fax machine like really. I mean, don't get me wrong, I use fax machines, but it's just like, that's so old school. Anyway, I digress on that. And the premise of the Luke Man is he created fusion from the remnants of the Goha satellites because the cards that were part of the Rush Duel programs can manipulate, and he's basically manipulated these into fusion. And it's all part of a plan for him to save the universe along with Rook, just like in the manga that he drew when he was little. I know, this episode is weird. Um, and so to kind of snap all this out of here, we see Yuga take up the form of the bad guy in Rook's manga. How he knew about this, I have no idea. But he's a smart kid. And yeah, so these two play out their big battle like in the manga. And basically at this point, we're just playing out this manga that the that Rook drew when he was a little boy. And we, it, I got to admit, it is kind of touching. But the episode just gets weirder and weirder as Goha Corporation steps in. And Yuo doesn't understand any of this. And we see Yuga take up a transformation based off of this costume that they had at the Goha Corporation, one of the masks. And it allows him to transform into this other form that was in Rook's manga too, I guess. And this duel is just playing out kind of like in the manga that Rook drew. I know. Bear with me. This episode was just freaking bizarre. Uh, so yeah, nobody really understands this, and I'll be honest, I didn't really understand it. I had to watch the episode a couple of times, but the Rush Duel isn't really the big thing right at the moment. The Rush Duel is just serving out the battle that was taking place in this manga, and I guess basically what I'm trying to say is the end of the day, the Luke Man 
became an entity all to his own. He has his own agenda. He is playing it out. And Yuga is playing the bad guy to try to stop his friend from getting consumed by the Luke Man. Uh, that's essentially it. Um, yeah, like I said, this episode was weird. And you really couldn't focus on the Rush Duel very much because you were too busy trying to figure out what it is that's going on with this manga and the Luke Man. This episode was crazy. I don't really understand it a couple watches in, but I still am very impressed because this was a lot of work to draw out and it was very impressive. And of course, we're getting we're getting lines drawn in the story, which is great. We're getting things explained, which is great, even if I don't fully understand it. And it's like, what? So yeah, this episode... Pretty great, and we've got another part coming because this Rush Duel is still not finished, and it's going to be interesting to see where it goes from here. That being said, everybody, this episode was a great episode, even though I don't completely understand it. I may understand it maybe after I watch the episode a couple more times this week before the next part comes out, but... That being said, everybody, I can still solidly give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. It was a crazy episode, and I loved it, even though I don't fully understand it, which is probably why it's only getting an 8.5. Like I said, probably after I watch the episode a few more times, it'll get higher, but who knows? Anyway, everybody, those are my thoughts on the episode, and thank you for bearing with me during this explanation, because this episode was bizarre. But as always, those are just my thoughts, and as always, I want to hear yours. So, in the comment section down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts were about this week's episode. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was just eh there? What are your thoughts? Just let me know in the comment section down below because as always, I enjoy hearing from you. All right, everyone, as always, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Hey everyone, Templar74 here. Did you enjoy the video? Do you want to help support me in making more content like this and see your name here at the end of every video? Then consider supporting me on Patreon. Any help is greatly appreciated and will help ensure continuation and increase the quality of production of the videos that I'm able to make for all of you. Link down below. Again, thank you so much for your support and for liking and subscribing. You all are amazing. And as always, everyone, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.